Yet another video of BWB has come upon us today, guys. And uh, if you remember from last time, I thought I was going to, or I told you I was going to work on the, uh, I guess, inserts or insets of the uh, floor pattern because uh, I filled it all with the sandstone. And I think what I'm uh, going to stick with is this type of wood, uh, I guess, wood flooring in the middle of the sandstone. And I'm going to try and keep it, you know, one, one away from this edge here. So, uh, it looks something like this. <clears throat> this is all. So like, it's always one away from the wall. Here we got it one away from the wall. Here we can't do much because if we put it there, then it's like touching that. Uh, same thing here. And then there's the wall. Off the wall here. Uh, for this part, I'm going to do it, you know, if I keep it off this, uh, that doesn't really, I don't know, be kind of plain. So I decided to just keep it off the wall one. So even though it's still touching this, it's one off of that wall. Uh, when you look at it like that. Another thing I did off camera is I fixed this, uh, the railing system here. I put the, the wood under that. Uh, I think that looks kind of nice. And I, I, I just kept thinking about, you know, what I can do with this area. If you remember from one of the uh, earlier BWBs, uh, I had to move the wall back, or I guess forward, so that I could put that, that wood wall itself. And so I've been contemplating, you know, what to do with that. And I'm not quite sure yet. So we're going to keep that to our, uh, I guess, for another video. And if, if you guys have any ideas of what I can do with this uh, ledge here, if uh, maybe I can, I don't know. I'm not sure. We'll see. But if anything anything you want to think about, you think I can do, uh, leave a comment below and uh, let me know what you think. And uh, maybe I'll take into your guys' consideration. Maybe uh, whatever like gets top likes or whatever people think is the best idea, maybe I'll do that in the next video for you guys. So let me... F uh, Go ahead and fill out the rest of these floors. Uh, as in here, this is too wide, so I can't really do anything. Uh, in here, of course, we can do this, keeping it one from the uh, walls each time. Uh, it almost looks kind of like a rug, uh, but I don't know. I kind of like that, and it kind of takes away from the just monotonous uh, sandstone. Here we can do one here. It's kind of smaller, but then again, it breaks it, breaks the pattern of, you know, there's a long hallway. I guess the hallway is kind of nice of it, just uh, kind of singular. There's no real need for the space, so you just keep it single, uh, singular sandstone. And then here's the break. You can go off into here. Uh, this room's not very big, so I guess it's going to have the same thing, keeping it one off all the walls. And then into here, uh, we can't really do much in this part of the room until we get to here. We can put it there and there. It also kind of shows this, it kind of shows the pattern of the room uh, by putting it that way. So it kind of looks kind of cool. I don't know. And then, yeah. Okay. Uh, another thing I want to address in this video is the kitchen. What are we going to do with the kitchen? So let's get what we need, the basics for a kitchen. Uh, we'll put a furnace for the oven. Um, what else do we need? Well, we could use a crafting table, possibly. We'll look into that. Uh, brewing stand. I like to put brewing stands on the the counters. It looks like, I don't know, a coffee machine, something like that. Also, um, did I miss the... Oh, yes. The cauldron right there. Use that as our sink. We need a lever for the faucet of the sink. We need to keep this in a bucket of water to fill the sink. And then we're going to need a iron door for the kitchen, for the uh, refrigerator. And then I guess we'll determine what color refrigerator we're going to use uh, in a little bit when we get there. So, first of all, let's figure out the fridge. Let's do it, I want to say in this corner. I think I might put it right there. We'll uh, grab our sandstone because a lot of the I didn't do under the countertops and stuff, so it's going to be a lot different. We'll keep our fridge, our fridge there. Then we can do a sink here. Put our cauldron, fill her up with some water, and we can put a faucet there. And then we can do an 
oven across the way over here. Well, let's get rid of that. Well, actually, that, eh. Technically, that would be wood because it's in that spot, so we'll put that there. And then we'll put the furnace there. Yeah, I kind of don't like that, but I guess it's going to have to do. Um, <coughs> sorry, guys. Uh, for this fridge, I'm thinking we might do black or an iron. Let's look how the black looks in this house. And we'll come up and throw the door on it. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. That's fine. Uh, let me fix that, because that we will see. Sandstone under there. Not there. We want it there. And, well, we don't need this stuff anymore. So there we go. And then crafting table. I get, we don't really need a crafting table, because what is a crafting table? Other than, like, I don't know. But I guess we could throw something maybe here. Like that. And then we'll put a brewing stand here on the corner. Eh. We'll put it here. I think. Yeah, that should be good. <clears throat> and then, I'm going to put some, uh, uh, seal not ceiling cabinets, uh, Hanging cabinets, you know, the ones that are above everything. Not there. That we can keep. And then we're going to bring it across so that it fully brings the full effect of wrapping the kitchen around. And then we can hang it so that it's not supported by nothing. We can make it so that it's believable and like that it's connected to something. We need one there, we need one here and one there. And then it kind of just adds to the uh, wacky feel I guess. We're gonna move this. Put another one here, light the place up. It's getting dark. Let me actually sleep just so that we can get the true colors. It looks fine to me but it might look a little bad to you guys. Okay. So now that this is kind of close, I don't know how I feel about that. Well, whatever. Let's see what a pot and pan rack looks like in here. You know, you hang your pots and stuff from here. We'll keep that just because it's kind of a, it's not a smaller kitchen, but uh, whatever. So that's our kitchen. I think that'll be pretty good for that area itself. I'm still wondering about this. It's kind of low, but you know what? We're just going to keep it just for the heck of it. Now let's go in here, fill this bedroom up, <clears throat> and then I think we'll call it a day or a video. Um, since this is only a two-bedroom house, and the fact that you might have two kids, uh, so we're going to make this a double. We're going to put a bed here, a bed here, and then we can put, since we have a lot of wood, I'll use that. Actually, I'm going to turn this one into a bookshelf because our children are so smart and they read and they're just real studious and they read their books, so they need more of them. So that's there. Um, and this is my, I had this in one of my older houses, that vertical shotgun house. Uh, so it's like dresser, somewhat somewhat like a dresser, but uh, yeah, actually I'm thinking it might go wood because it looks a little weird with the trap door on the plank. Yeah, I like that better. Alright, so we'll do this wood again, and that's that. Um, Need to spice this room up a little bit. So why don't we do... Where'd my bookshelf go? Bookshelves in here. Once again, our kids are so studious. Let's 
a little bit infringing on the bed area. So we've got that. And then we'll have, uh, let's do some leaf blocks running up the side. Like that. We can even do it here too. And what do you think? I think that's good. You know, it's simple, but uh, I'm okay with that. It kind of takes away from the weird pattern of the of the walls and stuff. Maybe, whoopsies. Maybe we could do something like this. Whoops, this it brings that full effect, that arch. Maybe we'll do it fully. Maybe not. We'll keep it like that then. And I think that's it. I think we'll keep it there. Make that enough. So I think we're good for this video. We're gonna. I'm gonna cut it off here. Uh, next time we're gonna get into the master and the bathroom. <clears throat> and if that isn't enough then we'll start working on the basement family room and then we're about done I say we're maximum probably two videos away from done with this house and done with uh, our first house in the BWB series but don't uh, don't worry it won't be our only house uh, like I said this is an architecture project for my my school and I've got a couple friends um, that I can take their design and I think I'm gonna build all their houses as well so there's going to be several shotgun houses and then you'll get to see kind of my my house versus uh, their house and how they stack up and how mine is so much more awesome than theirs but uh, that's for the future so look out for that stuff and until then thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later